Welcome to Mathematics class. In this video, I'll be talking about pre multiplication and post multiplication of matrices. So, suppose we have matrix AB. Matrix AB. Right? So, one major thing that you need to know as far as pre multiplication and post multiplication of matrices is concerned is that matrix B, matrix B, is said to be pre multiplied by matrix A. Whenever we have matrix AB, matrix B is said to be pre multiplied by matrix A. But let's say we have matrix BA. Since B is pre multiplied in this case, here B will be post multiplied. Exactly. So what will happen is that the matrix B is said to be post multiplied by matrix what? A. So, the method and the uh, techniques we are going to use is similar to uh, you doing multiplication of matrices. Both are similar. So, suppose we have matrix A to be equal. That's 1, 2, 5. We have 4. We have minus 3. We have 0. We have a minus 3, we have 4, and 1. Then, suppose matrix B is equal to 3, 4, 2, minus 1, 1, and minus 3. Then, 2, minus 3, and 5. So, you are not asked to determine, determine, you are asked to determine A, plus B. Second aspect, BC. Right? Third aspect, you are asked to find AC. Then, fourth, you are asked to find AB. And here, fifth year, you are asked to find ABC. Given that matrix C is equal 1, 4, 3, Right, 3 minus 2 and minus 1, and we are given 0 minus 1 and minus 2. The way you are going to solve this matrix is actually similar to uh, multiplication of matrices. You are given matrix A, B, and C, and you are asked to determine A plus B, A multiplied by B, multiplied by C. You are asked to determine all this now. First thing is that let's say we want to calculate the first question here. To calculate the first question here, which is a plus b. Now we have a plus b, right? Then what actually happens is that what's our a? Our a is taken to be that has a one, two, and five, right? Four minus three, zero, then minus three, four, and one. Then what of our b? Our B is taken to be that's actually 3, 4, 2, minus 1, 1, and minus 3. You are given 2, minus 3, and 5. Then we are asked to find A plus B, right? We are asked to find A plus B. So let's go ahead and find A plus B in this case. Finding A plus B, it's very simple. Since both matrices A and B are actually of the same order, that means we can carry algebra sum of both matrix A and matrix B. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is that A plus B, that's actually 4, right? Then 4 minus 1, that's us, that's actually 3, right? Minus 3 plus 2, that's us, minus 1. 2 plus 4, we give him what? That's 6, right? Minus 3, then minus 1. Uh, minus 3 plus 1, that's actually minus 2. 4 plus minus 3, we give me 1, right? 5 plus 2, that's 7. 0 plus minus 3, we give him what? Minus 3, right? Then 1 plus 5, that's 6. So, in this case, this is A plus B. That's just algebra sum of matrix A and matrix B. Then let's move to the second case. The second case here we are asked to find BC. BC. 
we are asked to find PC, which is very simple. So what we are going to do is actually, in the case of B and C, you can you all can see that C is pre-multiplied by matrix B, while matrix B is post-multiplied by matrix C. So now let's just move to the uh, second case. Since we are asked to find B and C, right? We can simply recall that our matrix C is equal to this, then matrix B is equal to 3 minus 1, right? 2, 4, 1, minus 3, 2, minus 3, and so on, 5, exactly. So let's just bring our matrix C here. So we are going to have it to be, we are multiplying this matrix B and matrix C together. Multiply both of them together, I'm having matrix B to be what? B to BC to be 3, 4, 2, minus 1, 1, and minus 3, right? Then 2, minus 3, and 5. The second case, which is 1, 4, theory, 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, minus 1, and minus 2. Right? So I need to multiply these two together now. So multiplying these two together will give me my BC, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'll pick the first line here, use to multiply by what's the first column here. The second, this first row, multiply by the second row, multiply by the second column here, this and this again. So what will happen is that, let's go ahead and multiply this. I'm going to have my BC to be equal. That's three multiplied by one, which is what? Three, right? Then minus one multiplied by minus four, that will be what? Plus into brackets minus four, right? Then two multiplied by three, which is what? Plus six. That's the first one. Then moving to the second one now, we're going to have four multiplied by one, which is four, right? Then plus one. Or oh, 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 let me just go directly like this. Three multiplied by three, that's nine, exactly. Plus Minus 1 multiplied by this, that will give me plus 2, right? Then 2 multiplied by minus 1, that's actually 2 multiplied by minus 1 will give me what? That's minus 2. That's the second. Then let's do the same thing for the third. 3 multiplied by 0 will give me 0. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1, that's what? Plus 1. 2 multiplied by minus 2 will give me minus 4. Exactly. Then let's move to the next row, right? 4 multiplied by 1 will give me 4. 1 multiplied by 4 will give me. 4 again, minus 3 multiplied by 3, that is what? Minus 9. Right? So after that, let's pick this again and this. 4 multiplied by 3, that will give me what? 12. 1 multiplied by minus 2, that will give me what? That is minus 2. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 1, that is what? That is plus 3. Exactly. Let's go again. 4 multiplied by 0 will give me 0. 1 multiplied by minus 1 will give me minus 1. Minus 3 multiplied by this will give me plus 6, that's minus 3 multiplied by minus 2, which is plus 6. So let's go ahead and simplify the whole process, which is B and C. Simplifying B and C for that, we have our B and C to be equal. That's actually 3 plus minus 4, 3 plus minus 4, plus 6. That's actually, this should give us 5, right? Then everything here, that's, this should give us minus 1, right? Then here we have 2 minus 12, right? Plus 15. That's actually 5, right? So the next this is actually plus 5. So let's move to the next one. The next question here is actually AC. We're asked to find AC. So let's go ahead and find AC. So our AC, in this case, our A is actually... So let's go ahead and find our AC and also AB. This is C, this is B, and this is A. So finding A and B. AB, in this case, I'll go ahead and follow the method I used in the previous one. So which is, uh, I'll use everything here to multiply everything here, right? So that I'm having 1 multiplied by 3, that's actually 3, plus 4 multiplied by 4, that's 16, right? Then minus 3 multiplied by 2, that's actually minus 6, right? 
So let's go ahead and this. 1 multiply this, that is actually minus 1. So let's go ahead and simplify this. Simplifying this further, we are going to have it to be. We are going to have this to be that's 13, right? 13 that's 3 plus 16 minus 6. Let me start my calculator. That's 13, right? This is actually 13. Then the next one, 6 minus 12 plus 8. That's actually 2. Why this is 17? Then the next one, we are having it to be minus 1 plus 4 plus 9. So we have this one to be 12. The other of this minus 2 minus 3 minus 12. That's actually minus 17. What of this? We have it to be that's minus 8. So what of this? We have it to be 2 minus 12 minus 15. That's minus 25. What of this? That's a 4 plus 9 plus 20. That's 33. What of this? We have it to be 10 plus 0 plus 5. That have to be 15. So this is the answer for our first one, which is AB, right? So we have our AB to be this. Then let's see what our AC will be. So let's find our AC now. So let's go ahead. In this case, also matrix C is set to be what pre multiply by matrix A. Why, if you have C A, matrix C is set to be what post multiply by what matrix A. So that's just what you guys need to know. The main point of this video is that. So now let's go to A C. A C now again. I'll follow the same procedure, right? I'll bring my this. I'll use my everything here to multiply everything here, right? That will be one multiply a one. That's just one plus four multiply a four. That's sixteen. Then minus three multiply three. That's just minus nine. That's the first one. Then one multiplied by three again. That's three plus four multiplied by minus two. That's just minus eight, right? Then minus three multiplied by minus one. That's just plus three. Then one multiplied by zero. That's just that's zero, right? Plus four multiplied by minus one. That's minus four, right? Then minus three multiplied by minus two. That was plus six. So let's go ahead and simplify. So simplifying our AC further, you see this is our AC. Then let's move to the next question. The last aspect is we are asked to find matrix A, B, C. We are asked to find A, B, C. And according to pre-multiplication and post-multiplication of matrix, you guys should know that whatever we have a b and c we can actually we can actually take it to be a b multiplied by c in this case our c is pre-multiplied by matrix a b but in the whole process inside this a b our b is pre-multiplied by matrix a it can either be like this or we can actually say we take it to be c multiplied by a b in this case, our C is post multiplied by matrix AB. So let's go ahead and find our ABC. If you recall, if I follow this process, we have actually found our matrix AB before. Earlier, exactly. So our matrix AB is taken to be 13, 2, we have 17, we have 12, we have minus 17, we have minus 8, we have minus 25. We have 33 and we have 15. This is our matrix AB, right? Then, the multiply what C. Then we are going to have our C to be something 1, 4, 3, 3, minus 2, and minus 1. 0, minus 1, and minus 2. So, what you just have to do is that you are going to follow the same procedure and the same techniques that I used to find my BC, AC, and AB. So what happens is that you are going to pick this row, multiply by what the first column, then the first row, multiply by the second column, the first row, multiply by what the third column. So that's how we are going to solve it. So do wait to drop uh, your answer in the comment box below. I'll be there.
to verify if the answer is right or wrong. So, if this is your first time watching my video or visiting my channel, kindly click on the subscription button and do well to share my video. Thanks for watching.